Hey guys, welcome to my channel Stock My Closet. For today's project, I have taken 2 meter ajrak fabric. And this is the measurement I am using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I will separate the length from the fabric. And for that, just fold the fabric by half in width. So I folded the fabric by half in width. Now I'll fold it by half in length. Now I have two lengths. Just cut it out. Firstly, I'll cut the back. So for now, I'll just keep the front part aside. Now I don't need full width of fabric for back part. So I'll just cut out the width according to the measurement. And for that just open the fabric like this. Now measure and mark bottom round which is 30 inch in my measurement. So I'll just mark a point at 30 inch. And I'll cut it out. This is a leftover piece. We can use it for facing or sleeves. Now I'll fold the fabric by half in width. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder, take half of shoulder width. In my measurement, shoulder width is 14 inch. So half of it will be 7 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point mark half of armhole round. In my measurement armhole round is 14 inch. So half of it will be 7. I'll deduct half inch as this is sleeveless kurti. Now from the shoulder mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst measurement 14 inch shoulder to waist measurement and 21 inch shoulder to hip measurement mark 1 inch inwards and join it to the shoulder slope point now i'll mark the round measurements for chest i'm adding 2 inch of ease in my measurement chest round is 30 inch 30 plus 2 is 32 and dividing it by 4 i'll get 8 inch for burst, again I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 2 is 34 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.5 inch. For waist, I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 26 inch. 26 plus 4 is 30 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. For hip, again I'm adding 4 inch of ease. In my measurement, hip round is 36 inch. 36 plus 4 is 40 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 10 inch. Join these points. Adding 1 inch for seam allowance. And now I'll draw front and back armhole curves. Now I'll mark the length that is 37 inch and 1 inch for seam allowance. Now on this line mark half of bottom round that is 14 inch in my measurement. Join hip to bottom. Adding seam allowance. And now I'll cut it. Now measure hip to bottom. This is 16.5 inch. Mark same point on the opposite side. And join it to the bottom round with a slight curve. I 
and I'll cut it. Now I'll cut the neckline. Back neck is 6 inch, adding half inch for seam allowance. So I'll mark a point at 6.5 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Join these points. For back, I'll make round shape neckline and I'll cut it. So back cutting is complete. Now I'll cut the front. For front, I'm taking whole width of fabric. From the unfold side, mark a point at 6 inch. Mark the same point till the bottom. Join these points. This part is for gathers. Now taking this line as center, I'll place the back. And I'll cut it. I have traced the markings. Now from this line mark neck width point. That is 3 inch in my measurement. And on this part, mark midpoint. This is 4 inch, so midpoint will be 2 inch. Now measure from this line till midpoint. This is 5 inch. So 5 inch will be the yoke width. Now I'll mark the yoke length. I'm taking yoke length 14.5 inch. Now mark the same. 5 inch measurement that is yoke width and join these points it's your choice if you want to keep yokes rectangle or give a round shape like this extend this line till the gathers part adding half inch for seam allowance and now i'll cut it Now this part is not required as this is for gathers. So I'll just separate it from the yoke. And I'll use this pattern to recut the yoke. Now I'm taking that leftover piece. Fold it by half like this. Place the yoke pattern. I'm adding 1.5 inch for seam allowance. And I'll cut it. So this is how yoke will look. And with this cutting is complete, now I'll stitch the kurti. Firstly, I'll add gathers and for that I'll mark tuck on the center and the starting point for gathers, which is your choice. I'm keeping starting point from the round curve. So I'll just mark the tuck. Now from the starting point, I'll start making basting stitch to add gathers just select the highest stitch length on your sewing machine 4 or 5 and make the straight stitch so I made a basting stitch and I've used contrast color thread on the top so that you can see it properly now to add gathers just pull the bobbin thread just gently pull the thread, you don't want to break it. Now 
just pull the thread from both sides to add gathers and this is how it will look so I've added gathers and I've adjusted it according to the yoke I've cut out bias tape from the contrast color fabric to add piping on this part fold one edge of bias tape by half like this and make a stitch So I made a stitch. Now I'll trim the excess fabric. Now place the bias tape on the gurti right sides together and make a stitch. So I made a stitch. Now fold the bias tape towards the wrong side like this and make a stitch on the edge. It's your choice how thick or thin you want your piping to be. Just make the fold accordingly. So I've attached the piping and this is how it looks. Now I'll cut the facing for the front neckline. And for that again I'm using that leftover piece. Just fold it by half. Place the yoke and trace the front neckline shape. I've also made few portly buttons for the front neckline. Mark 8 inch downwards below the neckline. This measurement will depend on the length of your yoke. Now I'm adding 1.5 inch for seam allowance. And here I'm adding 1 inch for seam allowance. Now I'll cut it. So this is the facing for the neckline. Firstly I'll attach the portly buttons and for that just mark the points with the chalk at equal intervals. Place the portly button. Keep the direction in mind. Place it exactly as I'm placing. And make a stitch. Now I'm using all purpose foot. You can use zipper foot or all purpose foot whichever you feel comfortable with. So I've attached portly buttons. Now I'll finish the front neckline. 
and for that place the facing on the yoke right sides together match it with the neckline make center cut on the yoke as well and now i'll make a stitch So I've attached the facing. Now I'll make small cuts all around the neckline. Now turn the facing towards the wrong side. I've cut out the rectangular piece from the same fabric. to place under this placket part place it like this overlap the buttons and now i'll make a stitch to secure it So I have finished the front neckline and with this yoke is ready. Now place the kurti on the yoke. I have marked ready measurements on the yoke. Match it with the kurti and make a stitch all around to secure it. So I made a stitch and with this front is ready now to finish a back neckline I'm using bias tape place the bias tape on the neckline right sides together and make a stitch So I made a stitch Now fold the bias tape like this and make a stitch on the inner edge So I made a stitch now I'll trim the excess fabric I've stitched shoulder slope on both sides Now I'll finish the bottom round And for that just double fold the seam allowance and make a stitch on the inner edge So I made a stitch similarly I'll finish the other side 
Now I'll finish armholes using bias tape as I did for the back neckline. So I finished both armholes. Now I'll stitch the side fitting seam. As you know I have added gathers only on the front part so there will be difference in front and back piece. You don't need to worry just match both sides and make the side fitting seam. So I made a stitch, similarly I'll stitch the other side and with this my tunic style kurti is ready and this is how it looks. You can pair it with jeans, pants or you can wear it as a dress. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you like this pattern, it's a must try. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and do subscribe my channel for more such videos and I'll see you soon, till then take care, bye bye.